Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I will be revealing the results of the reading challenge that I did for you guys on this channel a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't yet seen that video, I will link it in one of the corners up here and also down in the description below. Be sure to watch that video before this one. In this reading challenge, I basically read the opening lines from all of my books and asked you guys to comment on which first lines grab your attention. The first lines of books are very important, especially when you're submitting to agents to have them read your work, but also for readers themselves. They pick up your book, they read your first lines, and those first lines determine whether they will continue to read that book or not a lot of the time. So you really want to make sure you've got those first lines down. So in this video, I will be going over the six books and their first lines and which books they are actually from. Since in the last video, I didn't reveal that to you guys. I basically just read the first opening lines and asked you to just based on those first lines, whether you would pick that book up to read it. And now in this video, I will be revealing which books they are from. So opening number one, these are the first lines from Hear No Evil. This is the book that I have been writing for an independent film director and we're planning to release the book alongside the movie together. I'm currently accepting beta readers for this book, so if you're interested in being a beta reader for Hear No Evil, check out the description down below. I've linked a posting there that describes this book in more detail, the genre and all of that, how you can apply to be a beta reader for it. This book is not yet out, so this is the one book on the list that is not yet out. The rest are already published. But if these first lines caught your attention and you'd like to read more, then feel free to check that out in the description to see how you can get your hands on a beta copy. All right, moving on to opening number two, and that is The Boathouse. These are the first three or opening lines for my standalone suspense horror book, The Boathouse. This book is about two siblings who descend into a world of isolation while on a trip out in the wilderness. And it's a very slow burn suspense type book. It's not an action book. It's more designed to be kind of psychological, you know, mess with your mind a bit and tension raising. So if you're looking for a book with a lot of action, this is definitely not it, but if you like books that contemplate human existence and the human condition, kind of like the book I'm releasing in about a month, the anthology collection Dark Speculations. If you like that kind of dark fiction, then this book might be something you might be interested in. So feel free to check that out. And I will link all of these books in the description below. So feel free, if any of them caught your interest, feel free to check them out. All right, moving on to opening three. And this is the opening for the prequel to my series, the Scientist and Girl series. This book is called Benny's Story. This one is a novella, and it's sort of like a character origin story, but also a prequel to the series. So it's a smaller read. If you haven't yet read any of my, the books in my series and you'd like to have an introduction to them, then this might be the book that you would like to read because it kind of it's kind of like a lead in to the series. So if this opening piqued your interest, then feel free to check that out. All right, now we're moving on to opening four and opening 4.5 also because this book is both a standalone, well, a standalone first book in the series and it's also a teaser book, a choose your own adventure teaser book to introduce the series as well. So similar to Benny's story, this book, Bad Blood, is an introduction to the series and specifically choose your own adventure book is an introduction, it's like a teaser. I basically took the beginning of the full book of Bad Blood, the first book in the series, and made it into a choose your own adventure. So if you remember those kind of books, you know, when you were young, reading Goosebumps and, and 
books like that and you really enjoy that kind of choose your adventure you know flip to page 85 if you choose this option or that option if you like that kind of thing then feel free to check that out i will link both the teaser and the full book in the description moving on to opening number five so this opening is the second book in my series called killing jar so this is bad blood the previous book was the first book and now this is the second book in the series so this is how the second book in the series opens basically but if you haven't read the first book in the series then i suggest you read that first before picking this one up since it's already a second book in the series and it's a linear story and then finally we have opening number six and this is the third and final book in the scientist and girl series this one's called human nature it has a different tone from the first two three books including benny's story benny's story bad blood and killing jar have more of a lighter young adult kind of tone like early young adult whereas this one human nature has a sort of darker older young adult tone so if you like that kind of book where it's like a darker young adult kind of tone then this book might be something you'd be interested in but it is the third book in the series so that's also something something to keep in mind but it's interesting because i think when you're reading the opening lines from benny's story up until the last book in the series human nature you could even see from the opening lines that the book has a different tone like you could almost feel the tone difference within the first lines of each book and this is how agents decide whether to accept books a lot of times writers they say oh the agent didn't get to page 42 that's when the action starts that's when the good stuff starts but the reality is that yeah they might never get there so you want to start with that so that when agents pick up your book they see that in the first lines but similarly to how you as a reader can just read these first lines and decide whether you're interested in the book or not that's also how agents do it they can get a feel for the book and so much of the book just from those first lines those first lines are very telling so this is just a small exercise in that and seeing how a book's overall tone can really come across even in those first lines so i hope this quick video has been informative for you and let me know down in the comments if any of these first lines piqued your interest feel free to check them out if you're so inclined if you are a writer and you have a couple of books with different first lines feel free to comment those down below in the description i would love to read your first lines as well all right, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!